Hi, I'm Pat Sullivan with Mitutoyo, and welcome to Unbox Friday. Mike, what do you have for me today? So it looks like we have the 293 130-10. So I'm not sure what that one is off the top of my head, so let's take a look. Hopefully it's not upside down. Yeah, voila. Oh, this is the MDH micrometer. This is the world's first micrometer with a resolution down to five millionths of an inch or 0.1 micron. Now you might be asking yourself, why in the heck would you need a micrometer that goes down to 0.1 micron? Well, a lot of our customers are using it to calibrate uh, pin gauges or plug gauges. Uh, it's also very popular in aerospace. It's just a handy tool to have in your calibration lab. And it has a very nice wooden case, as you can see. And this is very interesting. The micrometer comes with a heat, uh, extra heat shield. Uh, and this uh, heat shield helps pr uh, protect against heat transference from your hand. So when you're talking about a a uh, very high accurate micrometer, uh, you're gonna have some transference of heat and that helps eliminate some of those issues. We also have a screwdriver for the heat shield. And I would recommend with this micrometer using it in a stand. Um, so when you're using this mic in a stand, do not put the heat shield on, just leave the the micrometer as is, but if you are using it around the lab and, and carrying it, I would definitely recommend putting that heat shield on the bottom like so. We also have a spanner wrench for any adjustments as well as putting your battery in, so we'll need that for later. And the battery, and this one's a little different uh, than a regular mic. It's a bigger battery, it's the CR20032. So uh, if you need to order those for later on. Okay, and this is a lint paper to help uh, rub, rub off the spindle of any material. And the first thing I like to look at when I open a box is the certificate of inspection. And it comes with product details, serial number, which is very important, of course. That's a unique serial number to this, this micrometer. Um, flatness and parallelism shows the accuracy as well as the permissible error that was done during the inspection, as well as uncertainty of measurement. And this uh, was done in Japan by Hoshino, who personally inspected this micrometer and uh, put together this certificate. Okay, action continues. Uh, we have the ROHS compliance. Uh, so there's a lot of states here that are ROSE compliance. So the, for those guys, uh, customers that uh, need that, that documentation is there. We also have the manual, which shows operation as well as battery or any other um, operational uh, challenges you might want to look over. Um, note this mic, the MDH now has a D2 output. Um, originally there was a Digimatic output, but with the D2 output, you're going to get a higher resolution up to the millionth. So if you're doing SBC or statistical process control and you're exporting data and you want that higher resolution, you want to make sure that this, that your MDH mic shows D2 on it as well as any peripherals that are using also have that designation. Get my handy scissor here. Is it scissor or scissors? It's only one scissors. Why is it plural? Two blades? 
<laughs> that makes sense. All right. Very carefully, let's open it up. And you'll get a nice sealed plastic as well as the rust resistant paper here. I always recommend keeping the case and storing your instrument in that case. It's gonna help just keep it nicer longer, as well as we're talking a very a precise instrument here, and you don't want it knocking around in a drawer losing accuracy. So, all right, and it's a bit heavier than a regular mic. It's a, it's a more sturdy tool. All right, let's put the battery in. All right, use your wrench to open it up. And then you'll wanna put the battery in there, face up with the writing, so you can see it. Get in there firmly. And kinda start it with your fingers. Don't pay attention to the arrows when you put it back on. You wanna turn it to the right and not the left. Okay, you'll notice there it's bleaking. So you'll wanna just hit the set button. Now, if you were going to attach the heat shield, you would place it on there like so. And the mic would have that, that look. Of course, anytime you're wanting to use your mic, you'll want to use your lint-free paper before every use. Make sure your spindle heads are clean. Operating this mic, you'll notice that it has a very fine touch because of the accuracy. Um, like I said before, I'd recommend it using it in a mic stand uh, because of that, um, if you're looking for that higher accuracy, higher resolution measurement. And after each use, you'll want to turn off your mic by holding the button down like so. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video on the MDH micrometer. If you have suggestions for future videos, please leave that in the comments section below. If you have questions or would like to purchase the MDH Macrometer, please call us at 888 Meditoyo or visit our website at meditoyo.com.